ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ This is the first English book that we are going to talk about in our Sikh and Sikhi book reading club. The name of the book is The History and Compilation of the Dasam Granth written by Dr. Trilochan Singh. Dr. Trilochan Singh is one of the best scholars of the Sikh religion. His work on the lives of the first guru and the ninth guru should be read by all the Sikhs. because he cleared many doubts related to their lives the book that we are going to discuss today has a brief of the writing of the 10th guru the sangrant dr trilochan singh was of the opinion that the 10th guru wrote the whole bani it is a very short book with 30 pages it starts with the authors who are in the favor of the writing of the 10th guru They included Gyani Dit Singh, Pai Sher Singh of Kashmir, Pai Ranti Singh, Professor Pyara Singh Padam and many more. This book does not talk about all the issues raised by some anti-panthic people. What it has is the outline of the different chapters and the brief of those. Dr. Tilloch Singh divided the work of the 10th Guru into two major parts one is philosophic works and second is historic martial literature revealing life as battle for dharma the latter part was divided into five parts pre aryan aryan bachitra natak on sex psychology dictionary and epistle the book has two pictures one is the letter of pai mani singh ji to mata sundari ji second is guru gobind singh ji's handwritten part of his writing one important thing that i learned from this work was that the office of the portuguese east indian company it was established at amritsar in the time of guru har gobind sahib ji about the chitra pakya the writing which has been called controversial by some propagandists because of the stories of men and women dr talochan singh wrote while there are a good many remarks about the strength and weaknesses of the character of women there is nothing so harsh as we sometimes find in the best thinkers of the world to this day but the female characters in the dasam granth are in more than 90% of the stories more remarkable for decision action and even manliness than the male one is wonderstruck by their masterful attitude and by the supreme power they exercise on public and private life the severest remark in charitra is that women are beings of impulses blown about by every gust of passion stable only in instability constant only in inconstancy but at the same time we meet with examples of the dutiful daughter model lover devoted wife perfect mother saintly devotee chaste widow learned and self-sacrificing women Because of the size of the book and the purpose one might find it very short if you want to learn more about the writing of the 10th guru in English but it will surely be a satisfactory book in terms of its details of all the vanis and the briefs I will recommend this book to the new as well as the learned people who want to know about the writing of the 10th guru Wahiguru ji ka khalsa Wahiguru ji ki fateh